Do you know how ovulation takes place? Do you know how it occurs? Okay, watch this video if you want to know. But before you click on this video, make sure you share this video. Make sure you like and follow this page. Make sure you recommend this page. Make sure you drop your prayer request. All of you that is sharing this video, God is going to bless you. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the process of OV, how it happens, how it begins, so that when I'm teaching, you understand me properly. I start. I want to put a disclaimer that myself, I am not a medical practitioner. I am not an expert. I am a researcher. I study already concluded researches. Then I come here to educate, impact, sanitize women that trying to conceive. With this regard, if you have any question, any issue, if you need prescription, recommendation, please contact your healthcare provider. This content is just for general information and must not be used as a basic for patient treatment. Please take note of that. Now, what is this OV and how does it occur? Put your ears on the ground so that you will understand me because I'm going to be using a lot of medical terminologies. Now, let me define what ovulation is. Ovulation is a process whereby the matured egg is released from your ovaries. And it is very, very important. I always call it the bedrock of conception because if you're a woman and you are not releasing egg, uh, there will not be chances for you to become pregnant. Even if you go to fertility expert, what they are targeting is to make sure to fix that thing that is making you not to release egg so that you start releasing egg. And when you release egg, you have like the opportunity of becoming pregnant. Now, the process of ovulation begins when your hypothalamus, hypothalamus is part of your brain. This part of your brain will release gynodropropin releasing hormone, that is GNRH in short, that causes your pituitary gland, that is a gland in your brain, to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone, fish, and luteinizing hormone, LH, in the 6 and 14 of your menstrual circle, FSH causes follicle that is small sac of fluid in your ovaries that contains a developing egg in one ovary to begin to mature. During day 10 to 14 of the circle, one of the developing follicles forms a full matured egg around day 14. In the menstrual circle, a sudden surge in LH causes the ovaries to release an egg. Do you see why I always tell you people to relax your brain? You know, when we are talking about OV, 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 people think OV happens in your uterus. No, uterus is a place where the uh, egg follicles will grow and mature. But the process starts from here. This brain, when you are stressed, <laughs> your brain will cut communication. There are hormones that is responsible with this like hypothalamus is a part of your brain that is the one that starts the process it will signal hypothalamus is the one that starts the process is a part of your brain like i said this is just general information i am not going deep into this because i am not a medical practitioner i am just a researcher and what i'm teaching you here is my findings so Hypothalamus is the one that starts this process. It's a part of your brain. This hypothalamus, which is the part of your brain, I'm just bringing it down to a layman understanding, although you might not understand the medical terminologies. This part of the brain called hypothalamus will now signal another hormone, gonadotrophin, to release, to release or to cause the pituitary gland, pituitary gland is another part in your brain. Pituitary gland to start, the gland is also one of the parts of your brain. It will remind it now to secrete follicle stimulating hormone, that is 
F S H. Sometimes when you people go for a test, they will write you that your F S H is low or high. This is uh, follicle stimulated. These are the things these, that grows and matures your brain. Brain is just like an idiot. Brain is empty. Is being controlled by this hormone. So when you are under stress, these parts of brain they will lose communication. They will not understand when something is being signaled to them. I don't know if someone is getting me. Now, if your brain, known as hypothalamus, will not signal gonna draw drop in to release hormone that will cause your pituitary gland to start segregating follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone this is their work this one will touch this oh yeah you go and do your work do your work do your work do your work this is what goes on in your body every day so if your brain is occupied they wouldn't understand the signal that is why most of you do not ov Another thing is if you have hormonal disorder, it's going to affect you because they wouldn't understand. For example, if you have thyroid disorder, thyroid will make your metabolism low. When it's low, it's not going to be getting the signals. If you have estrogen, low estrogen, is also going to lower down the, this communication. So for your body to communicate fully, they need to be in good health. So you that is watching me right now, if you are not ovine, is either you have any health condition or you have hormonal disorder or you have ovarian failure or you have premature ovarian failure or you have entered menopause, or you have infection, or you have stress, anxieties. So, I don't know if I'm understood, but I believe I tried my best. After all, I'm not a medical practitioner. So, if you like this video, if you like our content, please subscribe to support us recommend this page most of you that are following me you haven't liked this page you don't even like my videos like seriously so before i leave you again let me put this disclaimer that myself told you i am not a medical practitioner i don't claim to be one i am a researcher i study and i come here to impart knowledge if you need if you feel concerned about your health or fertility the medical practitioners are there the fertility experts are there conduct them contact them they will be there for you and i will see you guys again in my next video i love you all